Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Silverado D generation right here from year 2014 to year 2019. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the fuel pump relay is located, which relay you need to check, where you can guys buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, guys, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. Before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do, how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, engine lights, uh, fuses, all that stuff guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep providing these videos absolutely free. Now guys, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so please check check them out and they can save you quite a bit quite a bit of money now or in the future where you can guys expect to find the fuel pump relay we will demonstrate on this generation Chevy Silverado here you guys have many hidden fuse boxes all over this track that most people don't know about so we recommend to check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on Chevy Silverado but here what we guys need to check specifically okay we need to open the hood and once you open the hood you have a fuse box that's easy to access on the driver's side remove that cover you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one for 2014 and 16 model 2014 to 16 models and layout like that for 2017 through 19 models before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below now guys quick thing if you need to buy fuses relays parts tools at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time guys we're going to put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out that way you do not waste money and time here guys okay which fuse by the way or which relay excuse me we need to check please make sure you stand till the end we want to give you one good advice that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us if we zoom in a little bit the relay that we need to check now okay specifically uh, for 2014 through 16 models guys okay we will need to first check relay number 60 relay number 60 will be that relay right here that little bitty square relay and then you will need to check guys relay 67 it's this one right there check that one uh no excuse me it will be this one some of you will have it some of you will not okay depending on the model now if you have 2017 through 19 again that will be relay number 59 instead of 60 and 66 you may have an extra relay that you will need to check right there as well now guys you have all kind of different fuses and relays in that chevy silverado you have different fuses relays that could be really hard to find especially if you're in the middle of nowhere and uh, one time we needed a replacement one we couldn't get one we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that so what we do now we always get some spare fuses relays keep them in the glove box for a peace of mind guys that way you do not get stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you guys for watching and see you next time.